What's going on, my creatures of the night? Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a recent album. Uh, this is Cauldron's In Ruin. came out January 8th, I believe, which was like only two or three days ago. This album, it was quite a unique album. It had a variety of different styles incorporated into the all-in-all -all sound. But it created quite the interesting mix, I must say. I must say. So we start off with the opening track, uh, No Return slash In Ruin. I will say they kind of jump into things quite quickly, uh, but uh, it's a simple yet catchy guitar riff to kick off the, uh, the song. It's a mix of various old school styles of metal. In fact, this song, this song sounds like it was done in the 1980s, which I find pretty cool. It, uh, it has a mix of old-school heavy metal, much like that Iron Maiden or Saxon uh, sound, but uh, it's also got kind of, uh, kind of a mix of uh, hair metal in, in, in the vocals especially. They definitely have that epic hair metal feel to them with the, rever with the reverb and the echo in the guy's voice. Uh, the song does get into an emotional break, which I believe is the... It's towards the end of the song with a beautiful guitar progression. It's quite a good song, and it's a really good way to kick off the album. Uh, the song Empress definitely goes for a harder and heavier approach. Uh, the song, once again, has that super old-school 80s sound to it, which is something you don't really hear often in newer metal albums. I mean, you hear influences of old-school heavy metal, but you don't hear... You don't hear a lot of stuff that actually sounds like it was done in the 80s, which it's, again, it's something I found really cool. Uh, other than that, the song is raw. It's it's against the grain. And uh, once again, it really has an old school Iron Maiden feel to it. Uh, there's a pretty cool guitar, sol guitar solo later on in the song. Uh, it's simple, but it's pretty damn good. Uh, the song changes tempo and progression quite a bit. Um, it's it definitely keeps the listener interested, and uh, all in all, it's a pretty good track. Um, we then get into a heavier. We then even get even heavier with the with the song "Burning at Both Ends." This song has a much faster and a much heavier pace. The guitar work in the song is awesome. The riffs are structured so well, and the vocals are just plain epic. This song really took me back to the '80s once again, uh, but with a small blend of uh, power metal in the mix rather than hair metal. Uh, it's a very interesting track, one that I highly recommend. Um, then songs such as Hold Your Fire and Come Not Here uh, lean more towards the hair metal approach than the previous track, uh, with some heavier elements added here and there, um, especially on Come Not Here. Uh, once again, super epic vocals. Uh, but the the vocals are epic on all on majority of tracks on this album. Um, Come Not Here also has quite this uh, soaring guitar solo, probably one of my favorites off the album. Uh, after those two songs, uh, some of the tracks seem to get a bit stale, as they generally have the same thing going on as most of the other tracks in the album. But then comes a song that's quite different than majority of the songs on the album. Uh, the song is called Del Delusive Serenade. It has a much slower, more emotional approach than anything else on the album. Uh, majority of the song is instrumental, but it's still super engaging and enjoyable to listen to. All in all, this was a very interesting album. I don't mean to repeat myself a lot, but it really, really takes you back to the 80s. More than you would usually hear, even in a lot of the old school bands' uh, newer releases. But yeah, it was a good album, and uh, I hope you guys do check it out, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and uh, rock on my creatures of the night. Thank you for watching.